What's up guys, Josh here from EverydayFBA.com. Today, in the next three minutes, I'm gonna show you how to set up a social proof pop-up on your system.io website. This is gonna be the easiest thing that you can do to increase conversions on system.io. We're gonna get it done right now. So if you don't know what a social proof pop-up, it's this right down here, down in the left side of the screen, a little pop-up with some social proof. It says a growth hacker signed up for proof source. This is what we want to accomplish on our website. So we're gonna use a free software, two free softwares actually, system.io and then what you see on your screen here, proof source. So I'll link both of those softwares down in the description or in that first comment. Go and grab your free account. Again, this is totally free to do. Although uh, proof source does have a little bit of limitations to it, but if you're only trying to add, you know, one social proof pop up to one single page, it should be enough to get you started. And then, of course, you can upgrade once you see some kind of results. So as soon as you log into Proof Source, the first thing you want to do is install the code over on System.io. So up here in the right corner, it says install code. Just click on that and scroll all the way down this list till you find System.io. Click on that. And then it's going to give you this code. We're going to copy this code and take it over to System.io. So we're going to go into our settings of our account and on the left side we're going to scroll down to sales funnels click on that tab and here's where you're going to paste that code so just paste it right on in and hit save you should be good to go now to make sure everything's installed correctly open up an incognito window and go to your domain once that's done you should be able to see a green lit proof source is installed you may have to refresh the page but if it's installed correctly you're going to see this go green now that that's all done, we're going to set up the notifications for what we want to see on the page. Here's the page that I'm going to put those pop-ups on. It's a simple opt-in page. I'm giving away a free course. So I have some options here on what we want to pop up. Over here in Proof Source, we're going to open up and set up a new notification. So we have some options here to try. I've tried Stream and I've tried Counter. Both of them work really well. For this one, let's go with Stream here. I'll click on that. And I'm going to go with Form Submission as the event to track since I am doing a opt-in page here. Whenever someone opts in, I want it to display. So we're going to go with Form Submissions. And down here, I'm going to select Simple. And I'm just going to put in this exact page because this is what I want to be tracked. And then I'll hit Next. So now we're going to go with where do we want this pop-up to display, which actually is the same page. So we're going to go with that. And I don't exclude any pages from it, but you can do that here if you like. And then I'm just going to hit next again. And then we have some message and language settings. Pretty simple. You don't have to mess with any of this except for the message text and image, the icon that is shown. You can go and put that in here as well. So for the message to be displayed, I put got free access. And then for the icon, I'm going to walk you through this because it is a little bit confusing. I, I had to play around with it for a little while to to get it to work right. But we're gonna to go to this website here, icons8.com. And here's where you can go and type in whatever icon you might be searching for. Uh, mine's for a course, so maybe I'll put a dollar sign or something, maybe a book. So I got free, let's go with free. Here's some uh, different icons that we could use. And I'm gonna to try to see which one I can actually find the right code. So we're looking for a very specific code for these icons. You have to look for the image SRC equals and you need this to be able to use that icon. And sometimes they provide it, sometimes they don't. So we're gonna look at the copy section here, and we're gonna look at SVG, and we're gonna look in this code and try to find what we need here. And it's usually right here on the link, CDN. All right, so this is the code we need right here, HTTPS, and then it ends with .png, it is the image. This might take a little bit of work for you to find, but it's worth it because it makes it look a lot nicer. So I put that in here and now right here is the preview on the left side. You can see it says free and then it says got free access along with a name. That's just a template that we're gonna use. Um, so yeah, that's all good right there. And we're just gonna hit next. Now there's a few options here that you can go through. Personally, you don't have to mess with any of this. I'm just gonna hit next and we'll be done. And I'm gonna call this my opt-in page and I'm gonna hit launch. So we see a few that I have already been playing around with. I'm going to turn this off and turn this one on because on the free plan, you can only have one notification. So it, like I said, it is limited on what it can do. But if you just have one notification on one page, it should be enough. So here we are on that page. You can see it is in fact working down here on the left side. It says someone got free access and it's saying someone because I don't have a name field here on this opt-in page. I can go into proof source and change someone to whatever I want or I can add a name 
source right here, which is probably what I might do. So that's how to use the stream notification. We're going to create now a counter notification, which I found pretty cool because you can go after page visits, conversions, or even live visitors, right? But I like to use the one I've been using is page visits. So again, pretty simple process. We're going to put that URL that we want to track right there. And we're going to hit next. And where we display is the exact same page. And I'll hit next. And then we got visitors. We can refer to visitors as whatever we want. Smart people, awesome people. And then uh, the message text, visit our website. Again, we can change this to whatever we want. All right, so check out what it looks like right down here on the left side. 50 awesome people started their business. So we're going to go with that. We're going to hit next. And we can change the colors too. And I definitely want to do that. I'm going to make that white and I'm going to make this black. There we go. That pops a little bit better. Hit next. Visitors and launch. All right, so we're back here on the home page. Let me just hit refresh. And boom, you can see it right down here on the left side. Seven awesome people started their business in the past 16 hours. So that's pretty cool, right? Nice social proof there that we've added. Different ways that you can do it here with proof source. Play around with it. Find one that you like. Uh, it's, again, it's limited to one notification. So if you want to do multiple on multiple pages, you will have to upgrade. But it might be worth it if it increases your leads and increases your sales, which social proofs most definitely does. All right, guys, super simple, easy to do. All you need is a free system.io account and a free proof source account. I'll link them down below in the description or in that first comment. Go and grab it now. And if you want access to some, a lot, a lot of free system.io bonuses, go ahead and look for that link down there too. My name is Josh, everydayfba.com is the website and I'll catch you guys on that next one. Peace.